Okay, I made this movie to show you a different way of doing some collision detection. And um, just to uh, explain what I'm talking about, I'm going to open up the um, last catching game code. And in the last catching game that we did, you could see at the end the cow's moving and at the end to do the collision detection we used the hit test uh, function that's built right into flash so it's hit test and then um, the x and the y variable of that which you're testing against set to true or false and of course we started off with the word this meaning the cow heads that were dropping from the sky and so we're testing this movie clip which in this case happens to be the cow movie clip against um, the hit test function and the cowboy who moves back and forth and tries to catch things. All right, and, uh, and this is the hit test function. If you want to know more about it, you just right click on it and go to view help down here way at the bottom, which you can't see. So anyway, what I did was is I replaced this code. So I got rid of the hit test function, right? And with a different type of collision detection, let's take a look at that. Okay, and in that one, here it is. Okay, I'll open it up. We'll go to the end, and I'll show you. It's a little bit different. So um, in this one, instead of the uh, uh, instead of the hit test function, the first thing I do is I run an if this dot y is greater than or equal to 225. So um, this code in here will only run if the cow's y position is greater than 225. Well, why did I do that? Well, the cow's falling, the cow head's falling. Only when it passes this green line, which lines up with 225, are we going to test to see if we have a hit. And why am I going to do that? Because that's going to um, put a lower uh, amount of uh, intensity on the processor on the flash interpreter if we test it only once the cow has passed this green line. Up here we don't test it so it will allow our game to function a little bit faster. Um, so anyway, uh, first thing we say is if, if we've passed the green line, all right, and if we have, and this evaluates to true, right, then we run this. And I'll show you this one. We say if math.absolute which will math absolute will take a negative number and um, turn it into a positive number and uh, I put this on afterwards but what I did was I said if this y position minus the cowboys y position is less than or equal to 20 okay so if I take the position of the cow and I minus it upon the cowboy if it's less than or equal to 20 well what does that mean that means I'm gonna grab my library here let's say the cow is here and the cowboys here you know I could say uh, cow is y position minus the cowboys y position well the cowboys y I'll grab another green line here is right here wherever the registration mark is and the cowboys y is wherever his registration mark is so you'd be minusing um, let's say 250 minus 270 right 250 minus 270 and you'd get a negative 20 right whereas if the cow was over here right let's say you would be minusing let's see here 310 minus 270 you'd be getting a 40 so um, on my code what I've done is is I've said get that I've said if you minus the y position of the cow minus the cowboy and if it's less than 20 okay so it has to be kinda close now I, I just eyeballed that I could change this to 30 if I'd like okay so we could say this could be 30 right and normally we'd have if it's here you're gonna get a positive number if it's over here you're gonna get a negative number if I want to include both so that this is a hit here and this is a hit here right um, and maybe I do 
and actually that was working pretty good as a uh, 20 because um, let's see here okay I'm trying to get this to pop open here um, because the cow skull is actually a lot smaller when it runs so I say uh, if we minus these two together and it's less than 20 right but first and at the end on the outside I put a math dot absolute so that takes if we minus these two and it's a negative number it's going to convert it to a positive positive. and if it's a positive number it's going to stay a positive number so it's always going to be a 20 so it'll f now function the same way whether it's uh, whether it's lower than or higher than we'd get an adjustment okay so I'm gonna and I'll say so this is the first thing I did so I'm gonna put this on the next line so you can see it so I said if math dot absolute this then is less than 20 then I said and right so I've got an and in there math dot absolute the X minus the Cowboys X is less than 30 so I've also tested to say and if the cow is you know if its X its registration mark is here and the Cowboys registration mark let's say is here um, to be exact right here if it's less than 30 right so like as long as they're less than 30 then they would be touching we'd have a hit so essentially that's what I got going on here is I'm just testing my collision detection based on minusing the Y value and the Y value of the two movie clips and the X value and the X value of the two movie clips and I put a math dot absolute to make sure I'm testing both negative and positive results right and if they are less than 20 here on the Y and less than 30 here on, on the X we have a hit and when I run the movie you'll see that we have hits and it in fact does work and and it's just a different way to do it it's a little bit I believe a, a, a lot better than the hit test it will give you better results especially if your game needs to have um, uh, a little better performance so that's it and I, I will include this file that you can download on the site so if you want to look at this code now here I've just broken this down um, into two lines so it's easier to see right here's the start and here is the end of the if statement right here right the parentheses essentially right beginning parentheses ending parentheses and inside we've got this statement right and logical and this statement so this has to be true and and this has to be true for the whole thing to evaluate to true and then we can increment the score and remove the movie clip and um, play the sound the popping sound and that's it let's see here